What's up, guys? I'm going to make this video. I know y'all hadn't heard from me in a while. And, uh, been busy and, uh, been doing a lot of thinking. And, been really, really, really pissed off. Really pissed off. Uh, so I'm going to try to break it down to y'all as best I can. And uh, maybe y'all will know exactly where I'm coming from. Uh, anybody that's been in lawn care long enough knows uh, exactly what I'm fixing to uh, say or talk about. Uh, I do want feedback on this. Leave a message, whatever. I know I ain't got many subscribers, but the ones I do have are loyal. I didn't pay for them or anything. They found me. So, uh, let's see where do I start. First of all, need one. I had about four last night. Uh, first of all, I'm getting out of lawn care. Done with it. Uh, I'll still have five or six that I'll keep next year, <clears throat> but as far as going out and uh, running myself to death, I'm done. I don't want to do it no more. Uh, I've got to get something through the winter and I can't mow snow or mow dead grass. So I'm getting me a regular job. A regular uh, nine to five, preferably second shift. I won't get one unless it's second shift. I want to keep my days for next year. That way I can mow during the day and uh, go to work in the evening because I'm sort of on that schedule anyway. Uh, I get up anywhere from 6, 6, 6.30, somewhere in there on up. I usually don't sleep past 8.30. And I don't have enough yards now to where i got to get up at the butt crack of dawn anyway. Uh, I've got enough I can pay my bills here and uh, throw a little food in the cabinets and keep myself fed. Um, that's one reason. Uh, I just don't want to do it no more. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time. And I've been getting burned out for the last couple of years. Couldn't really find any good help. Uh, none that met my uh, none that met my standards. I'm real OCD about certain yards. And even the people I had that were good, I would still have to go back and do them the way I wanted to, cause they wasn't they weren't good enough for me. 
I would not leave until that yard was like I wanted it to look. Uh, so that's kind of sort of the second reason is that I can't find no good help. None that I can trust, we'll say. Uh, I found a few, but there was always problems with them. You know, from a business standpoint, there were problems. You know, everything else, they was fine. But from a business pers perspective, they wasn't to my liking. So I had to count them. And I've been doing this now by myself for about a year and a half now. Or probably a year, somewhere around in there. Uh, I can't keep it up. I'm, I'm getting older. Can't do it like I used to. Uh, I still like doing it, but it takes a big toll on me. So I've got to look down the road uh, longer ways than what I've been looking and uh, that's pretty much the second reason the third reason is uh, and a lot of people will probably understand this uh, this is Friday uh, September Hell, I'm not even sure what day it is. Uh, 22nd, I think. Yeah, I believe it's the 22nd. Um, late Wednesday, let's see. Late Wednesday night. Late Wednesday night early Thursday morning in that time frame uh, my lawn equipment got stolen um, not all of it uh, but my hand tools uh, my still FS90 is gone. My Poland Pro hedge trimmer 22, 822 or something like that, that's gone. Uh, and I had for my riding mower, I had the old metal five gallon cans. That day, I went and filled it up so it had five gallons worth of gas in it that's gone uh, my two cycle mix which is in a two gallon can was sitting right beside of it in the bed of the truck and it's still there or it was there uh, I've got if anybody's seen my setup I've got three boxes on the back of my truck two that hang over the side and one that's in the middle it right behind the extended cab part of the truck well that big box and the extended cab part of the truck that sits inside the bed held the uh, hedge trimmers and my steel blower both of them were in there now I've got the trimmer is right here it's in the house I keep it right there beside the back door. Uh, another thing is my air compressor is sitting here in the dining room. I don't trust. This is a good neighborhood. Real good neighborhood. I've lived here for over 10 years. Longer than that. Off and on I've been here over 20 years. Uh, never had anything any issues at all i left all my equipment on the truck uh my mowers uh 
were always on the trailer. Um, I've got two shops here. I've got a back shop and a front shop. The back shop is all busted and wore out and it's got wood walls and, and it's infested with brown recluse spiders. So I keep junk back there. I don't keep any lawn equipment or anything back there. Uh, my front shop, which is everything is made up of concrete block, that's where I keep my push mowers and all my handheld equipment, usually. This, these last couple of weeks, I've been so busy, I haven't had time to take anything off the truck. It's, I've, always, I've, I've kept it on the truck because I wouldn't get home till late. I'd have enough time to take a shower, eat a bite, go on the computer for a little while, go to sleep, get back up and, and leave again. It wasn't, I wasn't here for any length of time. Sometimes I was, but I was just so dead tired. I would, I didn't want to do anything. So, uh, and on and off within the, I've been doing this. It's been over 10 years that I've been doing this. And on and off over the 10 years, I've never had to put any of my equipment up because of just the neighborhood. Everybody would watch out for everybody. Everybody watches everybody's house here is what I'm saying. And uh, just here lately, uh, it's getting as bad as anywhere else. You know, I'm not saying we're perfect. We're far from it, uh, but we've never had anything as far as like shootings or killings or, or theft, not to a big degree. You know, there were two, mo two murders less than, there was one less than a quarter of a mile from where I live here. There was another one less than Uh, it wasn't even, it was less than a quarter from there. So everything's getting crazy. And when I went out yesterday morning and the first thing I seen was my tremor was gone, uh, I got pissed. And I'm still pissed. Uh, because no matter what these circumstances was, uh, I could leave my trailer, my mower, all my big equipment, I could leave it anywhere and not worry about a thing. I always had my trimmer, my blower, my hedge trimmers, and my gas with me in that truck or on that truck. Uh, I've got jobs to where all I do is just trim. I don't even take trail. I don't even load the trailer up. I'll load. I'll put my trimmers in there, or if it's still on there, because there are some days I don't even take the trailer. Now I'm scared to even leave the trailer here. Right, like right now, it's still hooked to the truck. Uh, if I go anywhere, I'm dragging the trailer with me. Even if I go to town, I'm dragging the trailer with me. Non-work related. If I decide to go out and get me a bite to eat, that trailer's going. That trailer and that mower's going with me, and I'm gonna park it in a place to where I can watch it 24/7. If it's at home like it is now, I, I back it in, and it's between a concrete wall and the ground which is built up over uh, the truck and the shed is on the other side so the mower and the trailer sort of in between that and you ain't got but five or ten feet to even do anything you can't get the mower out unless you literally the only way you can take off with the trailer and the mower is to literally get in the truck and take truck and all that you would have to do that in order to get it off uh, 
but I'm still paranoid, still freaked out, stuff like that. Uh, because now, instead of using my shop, the way I set it up, I've got to bring everything in the house. Uh, I don't have proper locks for it because uh, it's an old shop. Uh, I will be planning on putting a double door in, but we've cut, we've got to cut the concrete blocks out wide enough, or we got to cut part of the wall out wide enough to get uh, the double door assembly and everything in. And that's a seven hundred dollar door assembly. I mean, it's made for outside. It comes with a casing and everything but I don't have that kind of money. Now I don't. If they don't, and I've sent, I've filed a report uh, with the local sheriff's office or local sheriff's deputy. I know most of them around here and I gave them the serial numbers or the serial number to the trimmer because that's the most important thing to me. That's, that trimmer was over $400 uh, for me to get buy it and I bought it brand new uh, the uh, Poland Pro hedge trimmers I want them back but they're not as big of a deal as the trimmer is I can make more money with hedge trimmers but that's only twice a year I don't people around here they especially the kind of yards I got and stuff like that they don't want their shrubs trimmed once a month or anything like that. So about twice a year on the hedge trimming and the tree pruning and all that crap, which I can make killer money on, I don't really use that much. But it's still gone. That's uh, the trim or the hedge trimmer I had. It, it was right at two hundred bucks, sales tax and all. Uh, it was the the uh, highest end Poland Pro ha or Poland Pro has got that uh, Lowe's had. I didn't want to get a big high dollar hedge trimmer because, like I said, I never use it that much. But two hundred dollars for that thing, or a little over. I'm not real sure of the price. I know it's right at two hundred dollars, probably a little over. And the trimmer, the weed eater was. 400 or a little over so I'm saying right now I'm out just with them two pieces of equipment not the gas I'm out probably 650 bucks the trailer and the riding mower uh, not counting the push mower because I got it for free uh, the trailer and the push mower is right at uh, probably about 1500 dollars 1500 uh, So I'm looking, I mean, you're easily looking at over two grand, and I'm small, you know. But $650 is a, is a big freaking bite out of my ass. And, uh, some little son of a bitch decided he wanted it more, or they wanted. I don't know who. I don't know who's got it or anything. Uh, I just know it's gone. I know for a fact it's gone. There's little telltale signs that it's gone. I didn't leave it nowhere. I never run off and leave my. It's always with me. And the reason I know it's gone is because the straps are gone too. That held the trimmer in place on the truck and all the straps are consisted of is them rubber bungee things with the slots in them that you can get it like Lowe's or something. I'll cut both ends, I'll go buy one, cut both ends off of it and slide the op openings down over them hooks and loop it over the handle of the trimmer on the front end close to the truck and just loop it around the bar on the back end close to the back of the truck. They took them. Hell, that's like a little... That ain't worth 50 cents. And they took them. So, 
uh, chances of me getting it back are slim to none. Uh, I don't look to get it back. Really. Uh, but I will tell you this. Uh, I'm leaving my trailer and my mower here in the truck. There's nothing really in the shop now for them to get. It's of any value at all. If they get it, they need it more than I do. You know, all the be all the major stuff is gone. I took it to other places, and and my other two pieces of equipment are sitting in this house. Uh, I do have a loaded 12 gauge right now in my room. I sleep within arm reach of it. Uh, if the little fuckers ever come back, I will make sure that they do not leave this time. They will have to be carried out by an ambulance or something because I will call the police after I empty six shells into them. Uh, that kind of shit pisses me off. If you ain't got nothing else better to do than to come and steal somebody's hard-earned money the way they make their living or whatever, then uh, you need to be hung up by, hung up by your nuts and just let you squirm. I can't stand a thief. And, uh, I was planning on expanding, but if I've got zero turns here and all this kind of crap, I'm going to be out thousands. I'm already out hundreds. So, uh, I'm just giving y'all might be my last video I'm recording it on this phone that I got I'm not sure how good it's gonna come out but we'll find out uh, I will continue to watch all my favorite lawn channels I might put up a video here and there. I might change I might change my channel from a lawn care channel to another one. Never can tell. Cause I got more stuff. I think. I'm thinking about it right now. That I might be doing and I might be videoing. There's a thousand lawn care channels on on YouTube here. Thousands of them. Uh I can sit here and name them all off, but if you go to my page, you'll see the ones that I watch. Uh, they're all good. Uh, but if you've seen one yard, you've seen a fucking thousand of them. It doesn't change. The only difference is I mow weeds and partially grass here, so people don't give a shit about stripes or anything else uh, they do like edging all the older people like edging but you can't strap a weeded yard no matter how hard you try you just can't do it I've done it a couple times with that rider out there but they just want it cut and especially the older generation they do not care they just want it cut to where their grandkids or kids come over and they ain't wading through knee high grass. So, uh, I've been meaning to get a video up for a long time. Uh, started to do a couple, but I just, I didn't. Uh, and then when this happened, uh, I decided I was going to make a video, upload it, and see how it comes out on YouTube. 
because uh, I've never really recorded anything with this phone. Uh, but yeah, all my subscribers and anybody that watches this, if y'all had anything stolen from you, uh, let me know what it was. I want to know if it's just, you know, just handheld equipment or if they're going all out and getting everything, you know. Because these fuckers need to be stopped. They're, they're screwing with everybody's uh, livelihood, which I don't know who, I don't know who even come to my house. I mean, I've got an idea, but. I'm going to chalk this one up as a loss and probably have to spend another $400 for a trimmer. But leave me comments, please, on this one. Leave the comments. I want to see them. Uh, I want to know who else has been fucked over. Uh, no matter how little or how much, or how big it is, I want to know how many else of y'all has been screwed over by some little son of a bitch coming up and stealing their shit. Because I've been pissed about this for days, since yesterday morning, and no amount of beer is calming me down. But I can't do nothing. If I knew who done it, they wouldn't be breathing right now. But I don't, so uh, we'll just leave that to the authorities. But I ain't got much hope in that either. Damn good. All right, guys. Mm. You might be seeing a change. You might not. This could be my last video. It could not be. But leave me the comments. And uh, I'll see y'all later.